Hello, I am back in my office. I've had an amazing few days away in Brisbane and a couple of down days to reset and I'm back and I want to share three things that you need to quit. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tash Vanzetti, Discovery Coach and Mentor, and I help emerging entrepreneurs from all over the globe get really clear on their big idea and master the mind shit that keeps them playing small. So I have just been up in Brisbane for the We Are podcast conference. Um, I have been brewing a podcast behind the scenes <laughs> and I wanted to get some more insight as to what I actually needed to do to really make it valuable and helpful and do all the things that I wanted to do. Um, so I learned a ton. Now, there's always more things to do. There are always more strategies that we can add to our list. But I think one, one thing that we need to get better at is becoming quitters and quitting the stuff that's keeping us small and quitting the stuff that's keeping us stuck. So as much as there is stuff that I can add in and there's stuff that I can take on board and that I can implement, there are a few things that I'll be quitting. Um, I'm getting better at this. <laughs> and also things that I want you to quit as well. So the first one um, is waiting until you're ready. So I actually typed them into my phone. Hey, Kate, welcome. I missed you on my last one in our group. So I'm glad you've joined me on this one. Um, so when I was up in Brisbane, I wrote a little message to myself. These are three things that we all need to quit. So that's what I'm sharing today. And the first one is waiting until you're ready. Um, and that's, you know, we all know that. We all know that we need to, it's never going to be a perfect time and we can't perfect what we don't start. And yet we sit there week after week, month after month, waiting until we feel ready, waiting until we have some more answers, waiting until we have some more information. But um, I was listening to Nathan Chan from Founder Magazine. If you haven't followed Founder Magazine, then do so. Um, he's from Melbourne, an amazing guy. He's got over a million followers on Instagram, um, digital magazine, just a really cool guy, a lot of really smart ideas about how to make things worthwhile and how to create an impact and do the things that you want to do. But he said that one of his mentors have told him, um, and I wrote it down, that's why I'm reading here, if you're not embarrassed by version one, you launch too late. And I I can vouch for this. There are things that I've launched. My first time it's been launched, it's been oh, not so perfect, but I got it out there and I did, um, I learned so much by just launching version one and learning and reiterating from there. So stop waiting until things are perfect. Quit waiting until you're ready because you will never feel ready. Um, so, Kate, you're saying this is the main thing I've taken from my time with you. Just do it. Start small. Get started. Yes, 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 please. <laughs> I fell victim to this for years. I think that's why I'm so passionate about now. Waiting, waiting, waiting forever until I felt ready. Now, I still don't feel ready half the time, but I keep going anyway. And you can have this big vision and your vision will grow as you grow. Um, so we can get stuck on the big vision because it feels too big and it feels too hard. And we're never going to feel ready to step into the vision that we have up here. But if you just start your climb up the mountain, you just keep taking those little steps. What's the next step I can take? What's the next little step I can take? And the next one and the next one, knowing that it will get better and knowing that things are going to move in a forward direction, in a positive direction when you do that. So I'm glad you're taking that advice, Kate. I'm glad you are just realizing you're never going to feel ready and just taking small steps anyway. So yes, huge. And I love what Nathan shared about if you are not embarrassed by version one, then you launch too late because he showed us the cover of his first magazine. He didn't know what he was doing when he started building this digital magazine, um, but he got in and he did it anyway. You know, he tried, he tested his ideas, he got it out there and he's been able to perfect it as he goes. Um, and he's doing amazing things. I loved listening to what he had to say. Um, but that was a real message that stood out. So if you're going to quit anything, quit waiting until you're ready, okay, and just start. Start taking the small steps that you need to take. Now, number two, being too general. Um, this is one we often get stuck in because we want to please everyone and we want to make sure that everyone is, that everyone likes us. Um, but the reality is you're not going to get the attention of the people you really want to work with if you're trying to be too general, if you're trying to please everyone out there. Um, it's just not possible. So what you need to do is be okay with checking in with what feels good to you, where do you want to show up, how do you want to show up, and then being okay with letting some things go, being okay with niching down, being okay with saying, you know what, this is the work I do. I don't actually do that anymore. I don't 
I don't want to do that anymore. So we all have a ton of skills that we acquire over our lifetime, over our careers and the businesses we create, but it doesn't mean we have to keep doing all the things all of the time. So when you are too general, I want you to quit being too general. I want you to put your flag in the sand, whatever that quote is, draw a line in the sand and say, you know what? Hey, Nicole, how are you? Um, I can't wait to jump in with you guys next week. I'm so pumped. I've just, I feel like i am been a million miles away. <laughs> but anyway, I'm back. Um, yeah, you, you can't be too general. You can't just say, I do the thing for everyone. You need to get better at niching down and just picking a group of people, picking an idea and going with that and then reiterating from there. It doesn't say you're shutting off everything for the rest of your life. It's just you need to focus and you can only focus well and get the results that you want by stop when you quit being general and just say, you know what, this is what I want to do. This is the business I want to create. This is the project I want to work on right now. These are the people I want to work with right now and go for that. Don't try and please everyone out there. You cannot please everyone out there at the same time. It would, your message will be too watered down. Your focus and attention will be all over the place. So you just need to get better at stop, you know, being more specific with what it is you're working on from a focus point of view, who it is you're talking to, what it is you want to create. Again, you can't create all of the things all of the time. You can create one now and then the next one and the next one and take the small steps into the big vision. Okay, so first thing to quit is waiting until you're ready. Second thing to quit is being too general. Um, oh, good, you've got a fair bit done. I can't wait to catch up and see where you're at and see what we're going to be jumping in with going forward. Now, number three, the third thing to quit is all of the shoulds, the comparison and the guilt that comes with all the shoulds. Should, 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 should. Um, I still trip up on this sometimes. I think I should be doing all these things. And the last couple of days has been a great reminder for me that, you know, when I got back from Brisbane, I should have been in the office all day doing all of the things that I didn't do while I was up in Brisbane. But do you know what? I needed to reset. I needed time and space to just check in with everything I've learned, to re-energize myself, to come back in so I'm fully available and present for everyone joining Momentum Mentoring next week. Um, because I've been to Burnout City. It's not fun there. Um, I, I much rather enjoy working when I feel good about it and allowing myself to rest when I know that I need a break. Um, so the shoulds, the comparison, the guilt. When we look around in this online world, we see what everyone else is doing and we kind of think we should be doing the same thing. We kind of think that, oh, I feel guilty because I should be doing this and I should be doing that. I want you to cut out the shoulds, quit the shoulds, just show up and do what you want to do and what feels good to you. Yes, there has to be strategy behind it. Yes, there has to be a purpose behind it. I mean, we can't just sit there and eat cheesecake and want Netflix, watch Netflix all day. That would be amazing for a little while. <laughs> um, but I just want you to cut back on some of the shoulds and give yourself a break and just realize that it's okay to stop every now and then. It's okay to try things your way. It's okay to try something new, to experiment and to play. And if you get an idea and it feels good, then you can try that. If no one else has done it in your industry, um, that's okay too. I mean, who's to say you're not the first one to do something amazing? So I think that's, um, yeah, just ditch should, quit shoulds. I mean, there's always things we could do. Um, it's, I guess, thinking about is it something you want to do or you feel you need to do or that you should do? What's the energy behind the story that's going on? You know, oh, God, oh, I should be doing this and I should be doing that and I just feel exhausted thinking about all the things. Or do you want that fun energy of, oh, I could do this now and that would help me do this and I feel really energised by it. I really want to go on and do that. So just check your energy behind the tasks and the stories that you're giving yourself and um, be kind to yourself with all of this. Um, I'm just looking at my notes that I put into my phone. There are so many things, so many lessons from last week, but I think that's a nice little taster of three things that we can start to work on quitting to help us move forward, to help us do the things we want to do without feeling the pressure, without feeling heavy, without feeling like just ugh, dread all of the time because dread's no fun. Um, I want you to show up and have fun in the work that you do. Sure, it's going to be a bit uncomfortable. Sure, it's going to be a bit scary, but it doesn't have to always feel hard and heavy. I think that's the main message in all of these. So quit waiting until you feel ready. Okay, what were my other ones? Can't remember. <laughs> quit waiting until you feel ready. Quit being too general and quit the shoulds. 
you know, yes, there are some things that you think may warrant a should, but just check in with yourself. What's the energy behind it? What feels good to you to go and do and do that? So I hope that helps. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, I hope everyone's feeling fit and healthy and vibrant and alive. It's a beautiful sunny day here. The mornings have been really fresh in Canberra um, compared to Brisbane. Brisbane was amazing weather-wise. Um, I sort of forget how warm it can actually be in the mornings <laughs> when I head out here and it's um, pretty chilly. Um, but it's good to be home. It's good to be back into the routine and I'm really looking forward to jumping in with everyone next week. Um, if you haven't jumped into Momentum Mentoring yet, I will pop a link in here. Come and join us. It's going to be so much fun. And again, Momentum doesn't have to be about pushing and heavy work and following all the shoulds. It's about just checking in with what's going to work for you and being okay with doing that and letting go of all of the other expectations. So thank you ladies for joining me. If you're coming on to watch the replay and you made it all the way to the end, that's amazing. Thank you to you too. And I will be back very, very soon with some more updates, some more insights and some more sharing of the things that I've learned that I hope will help you create real momentum and start playing a bigger game with everything that you're working on. All right. Have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon. See ya.